Hello again, Steven. Holy crap, it has already been six months. Our baby hit the six month mark a couple of weeks ago and today I'm just going to be giving you a quick update of how things are going and what it's like now having a six month old in the house. As you can probably already tell, this video is going to be comprised entirely of clips of showing the baby himself, but we are not going to be showing his face at any point in this video because my wife and I have very strict rules that we are not going to put any pictures or videos of our baby online until he is able to consent to putting his image online. And so today, not really doing anything else except just talking about what's going on with the baby. He's doing so many things, so let's just break it down into a few categories. Number one, how big he's getting. He's not a big baby by any means. In terms of percentiles, at least, he's actually fairly small for his age, but regardless, he seems so big to us and it's exactly like the saying goes it's like you blink and time just rapidly goes by i was feeding him a bottle of milk the other night which i rarely do and i just looked down holding him in my arms and i was like when did he get this size he used to be so much smaller than he is right now so yeah time is just absolutely flying and he's just growing like crazy number two the things he's learning how to do he's obviously not at the big milestones of walking or even crawling but honestly at this age Everything is a milestone. Every little thing he does is another accomplishment. It was a big event when after a couple of months he was turning from his back to his front, and then another event a month later when consistently he was turning from his front to his back. And once he learned how to do that, even though he wasn't crawling yet, he pretty much was rolling around the entire apartment going like crazy. We even had to get like this plastic playpen just so that he would stop running into walls. And he's gaining so much dexterity with his hands. He can grab things, move things from hand to hand. Just the other night he was in his crib and his pacifier fell out of his mouth, and instead of like just starting to cry, he turned over onto his stomach, patted his hand around the crib until he found it, grabbed the pacifier, and put it back into his mouth. I know I'm an easily impressed new parent, but it is amazing to me what he can do. Number three, things coming out of his mouth. So many sounds. He babbles constantly, he laughs all the time, and legitimately he's saying words. I didn't know that this would be an issue going into this, but legitimately I don't know when we can consider him having said his first word, because he has clearly said both hi, yeah, and mama. Now comprehension is not there yet, but the sounds of the words are coming out of his mouth, so I don't know at one point we consider him going from one stage to the other, and his laugh is so amazing. I know I've sent you videos, Steven. His favorite thing to laugh at is being scared. Whether we're playing peekaboo and I scare him, or whether I turn him around really quickly and pretend to be scared and he laughs at that, he loves scaring people or being scared. That's his favorite thing to laugh at. Number four, things going into his mouth eating. This is perhaps the biggest change that is happening to our baby. Starting at six months or a couple weeks before, we started introducing foods to our baby. I use the term we very loosely. Trish has done all this research in terms of how to introduce him to new foods. We're using a system called baby led weaning and I'm going to dumb it down entirely, but essentially we're giving him adult foods instead of baby foods. We give him foods one at a time, we isolate allergens, and when we give him foods, we give him cooked foods in strips and just lay them in front of him. So instead of the traditional method where you spoon feed the baby or give the baby food by putting it in his mouth, we sit him in a high chair, present him with several options for food and then it is up to him to choose what food he wants to eat, bring it to himself and eat it. I guess in this way he has some autonomy in that he decides what he wants to eat and what he doesn't and he learns how to eat at the table by learning how to pick up foods and put them to his mouth. The entire system and transition is absolutely incredible to watch because in a matter of weeks he went from a baby that had never tried solid foods before to when you put him in his high chair and present him with a tray full of foods he will just go to town on those foods and grab them and just shove them all in his mouth and eat them and enjoy them it's absolutely incredible to watch but anyway before we go i made a video in november when he was about a month and a half old talking about the top five baby products that you need to know and now that we've reached the six month mark that list is basically irrelevant. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We're just going to take a quick look back at the list. Number one, the Snuggle Me Infant Lounger. Supposedly you can wash this in the washer, but after washing it just once, it seemed to shrink. And as our baby was growing and this was shrinking, it no longer became a viable option to put him in. So yeah, we got rid of it. It was no good to us anymore. Number two, the Halo Bassinet. This is not its fault because babies do transition from bassinets to cribs. So we did get rid of that. Number three on the list, the Copper Pearl Swaddle Blankets. We do still have these. We just don't use them nearly as much as we used to. So we do still use these as blankets where we occasionally put them on the ground where he can play on the blankets or we use them as literally blankets if we put him in a stroller and it's chilly outside we might cover him up with one of these blankets the nose free to snot sucker thing still have it don't use it nearly as much as we used to the outlet smart sock we don't use this anymore every single night when we put him on him as he goes to sleep and goes into a deeper sleep his heart rate goes down not to a dangerous level but instead of alarming and saying that he has a low heart rate the outlet starts to set off a loud alarm and say we are having difficulty getting a reading on your baby like i said i keep meaning to contact the company to see if there's something we can do but as of right now he's just not wearing it anymore and so steven i hope you enjoyed this little blurb of an update of our baby at six months. Steven, I hope that you and Harvey are staying safe. As always, I hope that you make a video on this channel soon, and I will talk to you later. Bye.